Well, Laura, meanwhile, a, a doctor in Boston who received the Moderna COVID vaccine reportedly suffered a severe allergic reaction to that. He had to use an EpiPen. Uh, such reactions have been extremely rare. And scientists say they think they know why. It's called a, a, a compound called polyethylene glycol, also known as PEG, which is in both the vaccines, both the Moderna and Pfizer, and apparently is in other vaccines, too. Dr. Jeanette Neshua joins us. She specializes in family and emergency medicine and is a Fox News medical contributor. Dr. Great to see you, as always. Tell us about this PEG, and I mean, should people worry about getting reactions to the shot? No, you should not worry. PEG, that's polyethylene glycol. This is actually a really common substance. It's used in skincare products, in creams. It's actually used to help treat constipation. So it's a very common product that is being used all the time. It was once used also in vaping products as well. In very, very high concentrations, it can be toxic. But it's very rare for it to cause an allergic reaction, what we call an anaphylactic allergic reaction, meaning you can have facial swelling, your throat can swell. You can have trouble breathing, you can have a rash, and it can be really life-threatening. But again, it's important to understand that it, it is rare. We have administered over a million vaccines in, to patients so far in this country, and we have less than 10. We have about six that have had an allergic reaction. All of them are doing well. So the key is just to understand what is in the vaccine itself, what the products are, what the ingredients are. If you know that you are allergic to any of those ingredients, then you should hold off on getting this vaccine. Also, if you have had any severe allergic reaction to any vaccine in the past, then you want to talk to your doctor. You may want to hold off on this vaccine as well. But not to worry, because this does not preclude you from getting a COVID vaccine. And that's the beauty of medicine, Eric, is that we have other vaccines that are in the pipelines that are manufactured differently. So Moderna and Pfizer may not be right for you, but we've got Johnson & Johnson, we've got Novavax, we've got AstraZeneca, we've got other vaccines that are manufactured differently that you may be a candidate for. Um, so until you are okay, able to get your great. vaccine, which you want to talk to your doctor about, um, you know, continue the mitigation efforts of, of wearing your mask. Yeah, that's great to know, especially if you have this type yeah. of allergy. Let's look at the numbers. I mean, they are extremely rare. Just six people apparently have had some type of reaction. But look, 272,000 doses in the U.S. Uh, Surgeon General Jerome Adams says basically uh, not to worry, but if you do have allergic reactions, here's what he says. Every medication out there can cause an allergic reaction. There are dozens of people every day who are hospitalized from Tylenol. And so we need to help them understand this is normal. Right now, the numbers are about what we would expect for any vaccination. So the doctor in Boston apparently had a or has a shellfish reaction. He's got to carry one of these. You know what this is? It's an EpiPen. So if you're watching right now and, and, you, and you have to carry an EpiPen, whether you're allergic to dust or to uh, mites or to hornets or to bees or whatever it is, uh, if you carry this, Dr. Neshwet, uh, should you obviously tell your doctor that maybe you need to know uh, before you take one of the vaccines? Absolutely. It's very important to make sure you inform your doctor of any allergy that you, you may have, whether it's mild or severe. And when you go to get your coronavirus vaccine, you're going to be given the vaccine by someone who is prepared and the facility will be well equipped to treat you in that rare occurrence that you might have an allergic reaction. So if you do have a reaction, again, which is rare, you're going to be, be treated safely. You're going to get the epinephrine if you need it. Um, you're going to be given, you know, other medicines, Benadryl, maybe some steroids if needed. So wherever you get your vaccine, they're going to monitor you for at least 30 minutes if you have a history of severe allergic reactions, if you carry an EpiPen. If you don't, then you're just going to be monitored for 15 minutes. But for majority of Americans, the benefit of this vaccine outweighs the risk. Vaccines, generally speaking, save thousands of lives every year. And less than 2% of the population worldwide suffer from severe anaphylaxis reactions. So um, the vaccines are really our ticket in a, uh, to get Getting out of this pandemic sooner than later. Uh, absolutely, that's the case, Dr. Jeanette Nashwad. Always good to see you, and thank you as always Great for your to advice see you today. Too.